I'm Sierra and welcome to Eugene Speech Language Therapy's weekly videos. This week I have a question from Droot Droot on my YouTube channel. And his question is about having trouble with his swallow. He says that I think my swallowing ability is fine lately and I am certainly again capable, yet it's something I have to do consciously with much mental effort. It's not a reflex anymore. And then he asks if there are some exercises to help with his swallow reflex. Uh, this can happen with many neurological disorders. You see it a lot in people with dementia. Some things that you can do, droot droot, and anyone else who's experiencing this is some coordination exercises. A good exercise for this is actually one that I already uh, reviewed in my swallowing exercises and postures video, but I will go over it again. It's called a supraglottic swallow. This is three steps. You hold your breath, swallow, and then cough. <coughs> and that kind of breaks down some of the steps of the swallows. One thing that helps people to swallow is to just raise their awareness of it. Now you're already at a point where you are conscious of the fact that you're having trouble. And I'm guessing when you think you're ready to swallow, it just doesn't happen for a few seconds. Um, <clears throat> so one thing that you can try is once your food is chewed or your drink is ready to be swallowed, what your tongue does naturally is it scoops it up and it holds it like this. And then the tongue tip touches the roof of your mouth and it suctions it to the top. And then it quickly pulls it along the top and pumps it back to the back of your throat. So you can think about that. Feel your tongue. Try and think about having a really strong tongue that's really suctioned to the top of your mouth. And then think about shooting the muscles back. So I want you to practice using a good, fast, strong swallow. Another suggestion to add on to kind of what your tongue is doing is to um, close your lips really tightly before you swallow. That's the first step of creating the pressure that closes off the oral cavity that's gonna help force the move back and trigger that swallow. Another thing that I use with patients is called thermal stimulation. You can use lemon swabs for this. I usually freeze them or um, you can get a small spoon, put it in a cup of ice, get it really cold. And what I'll do is I will touch the inside of the mouth. This is going to bring awareness and sensory information to your brain about what's happening in your mouth. Now, I usually start out on the tongue, the cheeks, the roof of the mouth, and then I work my way back and I get to what's called the fascial pillars. Those are what are next to your tonsils when you open up your mouth. It's kind of where you're going to start to gag. And I usually actually try and elicit a gag because a gag is associated with the swallowing trigger. So what you want to do <laughs> is gently just touch the back of your throat along where your tonsils are before them and try and uh, start to get that kind of gag reflex. And then after you do that is when you work on your good, strong swallows that happen nice and quickly. Now there's also um, one, of it, one of the newer therapies, which is called neuromuscular electrical stimulation or vital stim. It's what I do in Eugene, Oregon. Um, and wherever you live, maybe you can look for a speech therapist to help you. Even if you see them for just a few visits, it could be really beneficial. Look for someone who does vital stim. Uh, it's possible that could help you where they put the electrodes on your throat, strengthen up your muscle. And part of what that therapy does is work on the coordination and it works on using good swallowing techniques, some of which we've discussed today. I really hope that this helps you and anyone else who's having trouble with this. Um, please ask me questions. I'm always willing to, to help somebody out. Swallowing is something you don't want to have trouble with. It can really affect your quality of life. So thank you so much for the question. And I put out a weekly video, so check back next week. Thanks.